and instantly a Rubik pick by Lithuanian Powerhouse. Uh, they picked it because of Enigma, I think. It's a really great uh, to steal Enigma's black hole, Ten and of course remaining. Rubik can easily uh, break Enigma's Five black hole if remaining. he isn't catched in it. Reserve time. Puck. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. And the puck. I see a lot of team fight potential by why not team? Radiant team. They have a lot band. of high burst, high damage. Team fight skills like Jim Coil, Black Hole, uh, and all the Timber Saw skills, and of course, Lion. Ten seconds remaining. So it's a bit of different plan by Why Not Team. Five seconds uh, comparing remaining. Comparing to the last game. Reserve time. And the Faceless Void had been banned by Lithuanian Powerhouse. It performed pretty well uh, by Acanthus last game. Remaining. It's pretty strange that Lithuanian powerhouse team banned uh, their hero by their uh, their Radiant captain, team and we see a Zeus pickup. So I believe Doom will be played in a tree lane. Pretty uncommon pick of Zeus. I haven't expected. Well, but I think Lithuanian Powerhouse have some Ten plans and remaining. strategies with it, so I believe it can work out. Five seconds remaining. Why not uh, has a few squishy heroes like Lion or Puck Reserve or Enigma time. itself, so Five all the high remaining. burst from Zeus could work oh. out. And the morphling for why not as a carry. And they see some swaps between the roles in Lithuanian and Powerhouse. Because Sereda will now play in um, mid, I believe, and CHP will play maybe in the offlane as Doom. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Okay, and the game is starting. And why not team today will play in the Radiant side now. So I will introduce the players. Need for Sleep will play as Timber Saw. Fomo Todasuda will play as Port Lion. Dennis D will play as Enigma. Volmur will play as Carry Morphling, and in the middle lane we will see Grish who will play a puck. 
and we see some aggressive plays uh, from Lithuanian powerhouse. Uh, Countess will play as Mirana, uh, Nord will play support with Rubik, the Alexan... This match is Sand King. In the middle line, we'll see SHP. Well, it's quite unexpected. Unexpected. 30 seconds and to battle. Sereda will play as Zeus in the off lane. Well, that's a bit odd. The three lane of Lithuanian powerhouse are invading into a jung radiant jungle. I think they will try to ward up all the jungle, but they don't have any sentries. They placed only one aggressive the uh, ward in the jungles. And maybe they will try to catch the Enigma, who still s oh he's just denied uh, mid lane creep. It had been returned to get his mana. I see that he is already have a sentry, so he's prepared for blocks. Nice block by, by Acanthus with his illusion. First blood. Wow, and the first blood. First blood. Sorry to miss it. It was ours all along. Nice, impressive uh, win rate by Zeus. Well, it's quite legit. Uh, Zeus against um, the Timber Saw because he doesn't have that extra magic resistance and so his armor won't help against him and another kill in the bottom lane and this time it, the enigma is going down so wards are paying off by Lithuanian powerhouse well if I wear this enigma I would go to a dire jungle I believe it's much more safe for your way to farm and in that position you can gank really easily the mid laner or Zeus. Valmur is in a really bad position, he gets lifted, stunned from Delix and he has uh, Sand King and another death. It's good. Why not team? A really, really great line control by Lithuanian Powerhouse. They are showing why they are one of the strongest teams in this tournament. Book has just been picked up by Haste. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Again, uh, Nork is trying to be pain in the ass for Enigma. Some dewarding action in the bottom lane. Lithuanian powerhouse try to have as much advantage against why not as possible. We see smoke by Lithuanian powerhouse. Maybe they are looking for Enigma or a gang on a puck. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yes, they are going for a puck, I believe. Or no, they are chasing for Enigma. They found Enigma. Barrow strike. Lift by an orc, and he's dead. And again, a real big mistake that Enigma is still staying in the Radiant Jungle. It's like a trap for him now. I believe that Enigma 
and to really get much more from uh, Radiant Jungle. Puck has been chased up, but he's picked up a regenerational, so he should be fine. Or maybe not. Barrow Strike Bell Deluxe Sun. Ooh, where is the lift by Nork? Yes, lift by Nork. But Puck just used his regeneration rune and he's just fine. Another pause by Why Not Team. Maybe some connection problems again. Well, they have thought another th strategy. Uh, now Lion is babysitting Enigma. <laughs> it's a bit strange. You don't see this uh, every game. And yes, some connection problems from Volimore again. Finally he is connected and we are moving with the game. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Support by Lithuania Powerhouse is really aggressive. They're searching for a kill. They found Puck. Puck is trying to dodge uh, as much as possible. And he's safe under his tower. Doom don't have his ultimate yet. Supports is still searching for Enigma. Again, so I'm devouring from Why Not team. They're moving for uh, a, a Countess. Yes, they're moving for a Countess, and it's a kill on a Countess. We die. Here's come the cavalry. You from Nork, Barrel Strike. It will be enough. Yes, it's enough to burn down the carry of why not, but Rubik sacrifices his um, life for that. Nice sandstorm by Velik Sand and a nice ultimate by Sereda. Interesting statistics, statistics by Madman. Support by Lithuania Powerhouse just found an invisibility room. They leave it for a doom. Maybe they're. Yes, they're looking for another Enigma kill. And they found Enigma, Barrel Strike, New Lift, and he's dead again. Yep, he's dead again. It's a really, really bad idea to go into a, your own jungle when you're hunted again and again. It would be much, much more better to go to a safe, dire jungle. Another smoke by Lithuanian Powerhouse. They are still looking for a kill in the middle lane. Yes, a lot of pinks. They are going in. Doom is ready. Lift, Doom. And Puck is going down. Well, uh, top line. I believe it's the most passive one because neither the one or either player is having some advantage. So it's quite boring the auto plane. And then was really really behind uh, by all those takedowns. Why not is trying to get Doom, Dream Coil, Impale, and he's going down. Yes.
Doom is almost done with his mechanism. And it will be a great item for his team. Fades away. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I believe the hunt of Enigma is start. Wow, nice ultimate by Zeus. And now the powerhouse know where the Enigma is. I think it's too risky to go for Enigma now because it's it would be a three against two. It's not the greatest. Yes, smoke by Lithuanian Powerhouse and he's going to a 3! Nice, nice barrel strike. Nice orb by, by a... Nork. He got a bulky. And the last kill goes to Adelixan. Wow, what a nice play by the sports of Lithuanian Powerhouse. Valamur is pretty low. If Sand King could come, they could easily burst him down. Radiance top tower is under attack. Some swaps in the lanes. Now Need for Sleep is searching for the Lixam. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dilxan trying to dodge him. Edigma is coming for a help. He barrel strikes away. And I believe he's safe. Zeus is coming to help for Mirana. They're trying to burst down the Morphling. He's pretty low. Dilexan's uh, Immune account still has his ultimate. Doom was used on a Timber Saw. And the Zeus ultimate has just finished him up. Another great game. By Lithuanian powerhouse against why not? The score is pretty similar as the last games. So let's see if there's some graphs. Oh, we see that Lithuanian powerhouse has a big advantage in gold, more than 7k. Lift on a puck, barrel strike, and he's down. Another pause by Why Not Team. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. We see another initiative by the Clinic Powerhouse. Lift on the morph plane. He's trying to morph as much strength as he can to survive. Echo center by the Sand King. He's almost. Yes, he's going down to a Timber Saw. Wow, what a black hole, but immediately his gun being cancelled by Sereda's burst. And they're really, really low. Uh, Hunter's just mid his arrow. And top Buck and Timber so just barely survived the fight. As a Morphling. So, two for one. Is Doom is still looking for some kills. He's doomed the Timber Saw and he's going down. 20 minutes G has been called. Just an excellent performance by the Lithuanian powerhouse. 